Hi, Wangabe. How are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> Pastor James. Yes. It's good to be here with you today. Nice I've been to trying you. to track you down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to wait for you to be on leave oh, for me to goodness. get two minutes. I know. I know. It's taken a few weeks, but we are here finally. Finally. Finally, yeah. Yes. So, ah. guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Wangare. Farmer on Fire. We are talking about food, nutrition, leadership, and just God's plan on just how we were supposed to do it the right way absolutely <laughs> yeah yeah yes i'm pastor james glad to be here give us a, a better intro but now wow okay yes. uh so i'm pastor james i serve at mavuno church mm -hmm. um i'm glad to know wangare she's uh, become a friend um i'm a husband yes and a father of three hey. and yeah i'm excited about what wangari is doing and the things that she's been talking about yes yeah. have yeah. you ever eaten my veggie package i have okay i have good I definitely have. <laughs> okay so at least <laughs> when i'm talking through that then yeah. we will uh, okay because um one of my concepts about why i started the channel yeah. is because i want people to know where your food comes from okay. is it safe enough yeah. like just take the responsibility of understanding what you're even eating what you're ingesting yeah. um i come from kitengela yeah. a lot of veggies skuma weekend spinach that <laughs> that is in kitengela market uh -huh. comes from the sewage oh my goodness yes because wow. if you're in here in kitengela you'll find a very big river at the uh -huh. river yes. so it comes from this side which uh -huh. is dry but on this side there is water yeah. where is that water coming from <laughs> So and many times we don't ask that question. We don't ask that. Yeah. So even sniffing your veggies goes a long way towards knowing whether the water that has been used is good enough. Wow. And then just even flower pods, apple candle, weka skuma mbili ama tatu. It uh -huh. just goes a long way to, to towards your consciousness and just becoming a better person and a responsible person towards your nutrition. Wow. So yes. Yeah. So today we are going to talk about leadership, health, right. and nutrition. Okay. Um. So what do you think is God's plan in terms of us being leaders and what we should do? Yeah. To make sure that our health and our nutrition is in line with what God's plan is. All right. So uh, I think for me, I start with a conviction. I believe that every single one of us is here on this planet for a reason. That we have a purpose as to why God placed us here. Uh, when we find when we we find that purpose and we start to live it out, what that happens is we we sort of become leaders in that space because it's exactly where God wanted you to be. Okay. Uh, and that's for everyone. Uh, right. It's not just for certain people. It's not for. Sometimes we think that they are great people and smaller yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, there really isn't before God. Uh, okay. Every single one of us, we have an assignment that is important and critical to God that he has created us to accomplish. Okay. Those are the spaces where we will often find ourselves being leaders because God has placed us in the right place. And that's where we find ourselves leading. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, what many people may not think about is, so what does, what does this have to do with what you talk about? What, uh, yeah. When you talk about nutrition, when you talk about food, uh, one of the things I've learned uh, about leadership, and leadership is something I'm passionate about, yeah. uh, is that more often than not, leadership is about making decisions. Uh, at any point in mm -hmm. time, decisions are, are, are landing at your desk, mm -hmm. you need to decide. Yeah. If I take it as simply as even just a parent, uh, yeah. I said I'm a father of three, uh, you know, my wife, uh, she's a mom, yeah. even just the kind of uh, decisions we're making for our kids, yeah. even that in itself is leadership. Yeah. Uh, when our firstborn is doing something for the other two, that's leadership. Oh. So at any... Whether at you are high really levels, breaking it down. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, so sometimes we don't think like that. Yeah. Now, where does nutrition, health, and so on come in? Yeah. Even something as simple as what kind of decisions am I making? What's the quality of those decisions? Yeah. That will have a lot to do with what's my mental clarity? Am I tired and weary or am I sharp and bright? Right. And a lot of that is connected to what am I eating? Ah, what's, what, how yes. healthy am I? Because you know, most of the time, it's autopilot. Absolutely. The house girl has cooked something. You don't yes. want that call of mama and I need to pick a nini. You yes. just want food yes. and you ingest it yeah. and you go on to being productive. Absolutely. But yeah. you're saying that yeah. It, it, it's it's not it the cycle is not well it doesn't necessarily work like that yeah. so for example if i had too much sugar at night yeah. and so i couldn't fall asleep uh and, and it took me long to sleep yeah uh which means that by morning when i wake up i'm a little bit tired i'm a little bit weary yeah what does that mean for the decisions i'm making that day wow. whether it's in my yes, official like work <laughs> work, exactly exactly so if i can make it personal for me yeah. one of the things i find is if i'm weary yeah um it takes me longer to make decisions because i can't i don't have 
have mental clarity. Mm. And one of the things I've seen that has an impact. You guys, on, now you know why yeah. I had to have it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, but then if, if, if I have mental clarity, yeah. I find that first I make decisions faster and I make better decisions because I'm higher, because I'm more, I don't know. It just right. comes, it flows. It's easier for the decisions to flow. Mm -hmm. uh, the consequence of that is I lead better. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes when you think about things like leadership, you may think, okay, what I eat has nothing to do with it, but it really mm -hmm. seeps in. In right? the little ways, yes. uh, whether I'm going to snap at my kids mm. uh, in the morning at the mm -hmm. breakfast table, mm. it's connected to did I sleep well, so yeah. am I rested? What mm -hmm. kind of a leader am I? When I get to the office, what kind of decisions am I making? How am I leading the people I'm with? Yeah. Uh, this is attached to, among other things I'm sure, but it mm. definitely is attached to health, to nutrition, to how well I'm taking care of my body. Right, yeah. amazing. Yeah. So the other part is yes. there's this sleeping uh, thing it's yep. in the American movies in Hollywood yeah. where a chest on your lips, uh -huh. forever in your hips. Yep. Africans, we are known that the bigger you are, the more prominent. Yes. But now we need to move away from that notion. Yep. And you need to bring in conscious eating. Yeah. Are you taking raw foods? Yeah. Are you taking the food groups which is protein, uh -huh. carbohydrates, vitamins, uh -huh. fats, uh -huh. and minerals? Uh -huh. Always make sure that your food has those Always, things. Yeah. Um, let's t break it down to specifics. Yeah. Breakfast. Yeah. How do you think we can put in <laughs> vegetables and protein in breakfast? Wow, I yes. think I'll start by saying I'm definitely not an expert on this. Right. Uh, my wife says I, I, I conveniently forget <laughs> that there are vegetables in the house. And the reality is... And by the way, his wife is here. He's <laughs> our cameraman. Please photo bomb. Tafadhali, come say hello to my people. Hi. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so... So, 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 I don't say this as someone who automatically gravitates towards vegetables. Yeah. I struggle with it. I don't necessarily enjoy them. Yeah. But I think the, the thing, 